I yelled at me because I had never been there before. Uh oh. <laughs> so my intellect couldn't see it. Paper can't get me out of this thing. Not some card but under my wheel. It won't get me out of what I'm in. Mm -hmm. So we look at the law of the Lord and say, it's just words. It can't get me out of what I'm in. But the Bible said that in John 6 and 63, that the word of God is spirit and it's life. Mm -hmm. So my question is, where then did we go wrong? The old covenant told us in the Bible that we needed to sacrifice animals. But Jesus came now so that we could do this thing with his blood. Mm -hmm. But the old covenant said you had to do it every year. You had to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And the moment after you sacrificed, you had to pray that you could remain sinless till next year and you wouldn't die so that you could get back to the priest so that you could present your offering. But Jesus said you could always be ready mm -hmm. if you use my blood. Tap your neighbor and say, you need a savior. It's just that simple. That's the truth. Life is not easy without Christ. We go through poverty. We go through pain. We go through setback and setups. We go through constant trials and tribulation. But we need a savior. We need somebody that's going to make our lives just a little bit better than what it is right now. Amen. Oh, you may be living good right now, but that's going to come a day when you realize I'm empty on the inside and I'm missing something. Amen. Amen. Is it just that simple? Really? Is it just that simple? All the while you're living, sin is all around you. It's ever present. How can I be in this world, but not of this world like Christ? I need a savior. It's just that simple. Mm. The Bible says we were born in sin. And we were shaping in iniquity. Mm. Unfortunately, because of what Adam did in the cross. I mean, what Adam did in Genesis. He messed up and gave away the authority that man was supposed to have. He gave it away. And when he gave it away, now Satan became the prince of the air. See, you know, we just need to be real sometime and just talk about it. We're not going to glorify him. But if you're not on the winning team, then you're on the losing team. And I already told you that you were born with a disadvantage. Right. But at the cross, Christ came so you could get the advantage. Mm. Do you hear me? Amen. I'm trying to make it plain and make it clear. Mama can't do this thing for you. Daddy can't do this thing for you. If we dilly dally and play around on the long side, is on the long on the wrong side too long, there's gonna come a day whenever Christ comes and say, "Come up hither," which will call the saints. And the Bible says, "In the twinkling of an eye, which is quicker than you just blink." Hmm. Uh oh, you just blinked again. <laughs> just that quick. So you won't have time to make up your mind. So we need to be ready in season and out of season. Hallelujah. Amen. For we all have seen and come short. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You can be six foot two. And they say, you know what? The requirement is six foot three. You can be six foot two and a half inches and you're short. What are you saying, Apostle? What I'm saying is the fact is if you just committed one sin, mm -hmm. 